Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church.
destroy. Are you ready to be radical? In the house of the Lord.
What a pretty lady. God bless you. I love you. Amen. God will grant you the desires of your heart. Wherefore, at that time, certain charges came near and they accused the Jews. Number nine. They wrote and said, O King Nebuchadnezzar, O King forever. That O King has made a decree, and every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet flute, harp, sackbut, pastry, and bishop, and all kinds of music, shall fall down and worship the golden image. Yes. And there are certain Jews whom they have set over the face of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They have not served thy gods, nor worshipped the golden image which thou has set up. Next. Then the book of the Lord is made and fury. They will command the princess and princess and apart they go. So they brought those men before the king. The Lord spake and said unto them, Is it true? O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Fifteen. Now, if you are ready, at the time you hear the sound of the horn, flute, harp, lead, and pestle in symphony, all kinds of music, and you shall fall down and wash the image which I have made you do. And if you do not wash it, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of a very fair furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. 17. If that is the case, our Lord, who is is able to deliver us from the point of the and will deliver us from the heart of the king. Let us not be thy God, O king. Let us not be thy God, O king. Let us not be known unto thee, O king. And who will not serve the gods and worship the golden image which thou hast set up? 19. Then the Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and his expression of his face changed towards the Nebuchadnezzar's commandment. He spoke and commanded that his name of the followers be made seven times more than it was as it was. Seven times more than it was one to be eaten. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to burn Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning, firing furnace. Next. Yes. 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 And in furnace, exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 23. And he slew them, 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 and he slew the night will cast three men bound in the midst of the fire. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. 25. No, I see 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 and speak and said to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come to the Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego come forth in the midst of the fire. Next. And the sons of God and his brothers, and Spoke and said, the, the blessed be the God.
God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's work and yielded their bodies, and they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Next. Therefore, I have made a decree that every people, nation, and language which seeks anything that is against the God of Jesus Christ, 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 there is no holy as the Lord, but there is no God is there 
and he is there to turn your situation around. Amen. I didn't hear you say it better. Amen. Amen. These people have no sin of their own. God promoted them, and I tell you, every time you are moving on to another phase of life, every time you are making progress in life, there are people who are not happy. There are people who derive joy in your suffering, in your pain, in your sorrow, in your sickness, in whatever that limits you, people are happy. And that is why when they see you with a new cloth, they get cross. When they see you putting on your shoe, they say that's not how you used to walk. Because he has a new shoe, that's why he's walking the way he's working. When you buy a new car, they say, are you the only one who has bought a car before? Since you bought a car, we cannot hear anything again. And the time you move to a new house, it's like, uh, um, let them, because they are not happy. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's not your fault that they are not happy. Happiness is a choice. These God's people, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we are promoted into a place of leadership in a foreign land. And the people of the land was not happy. The Bible said that they said, let us find fault. And what was the fault they found? They know that these people love God. You know, don't believe us know whether you are a good Christian or not. Don't believe us know whether you are playing game. Don't believe us know whether you are born again. Don't believe us know the joints they meet with you. Don't believe us know the word. They cry, the jokes, you cry together. And so then they say, this man says he goes to church. He's talking like us. Don't believe the news. And that is why don't believe I will call some people by name. They change their name and start calling them Mary. Because Mary was the holiest woman who could become pregnant without going through the normal process of life. And so whenever people call a sister Mary, that means that sister has gone uh, extra mile. In fact, I call my cousin that matter. That's what we call her. Because she has gone extra mile in her Christian life. Or they call you pastor. Because they have seen something, even though you are not a pastor. I told you that I wasn't a pastor when people started to call me a pastor. And one day they said to me, nothing will stop you from being a pastor. I said, but I'm not a pastor. I said, no, we have seen it. How did they know? Because Jesus was speaking. He said, by their fruit we shall know them. The Bible said that these young people love the Lord so much that the enemies know that they love God. And they went to the king and bribed the king. And the king unknowingly that they were bribing him. The king thought that he's making the glory for himself. He set up a statues and said, no. Uh, from this time to this time, nobody should pray to any other God except me. You know, many of you will beg you to come for prayer fellowship. Many of you don't pray in your house. But these are people who are praying that even don't believe us know that they are praying Christians. And they say there's nothing we can do to stop them. We only will accuse them for not praying to their God. And the king, we know the story, made a decree and said, Nobody should pray to any other God but me. And the Bible said, these young people, they went and sang the song the choir sang and said, I will not serve any other foreign God, nor worship any other image. You know, we live in a time that there is a lot of compromise in the body of Christ among God's children that we say, no, I just find myself there's nothing I can do. Everybody is doing it, and because everybody is doing it, I just have to get it done. And these three Hebrew brothers said, no, we will not deny our Savior, nor put his gospel to shame. And because there were hawks that we are watching them, before they even said, everybody bow down to the king. The Bible said that they saw three boys who were not buying down. And they quickly said, we have caught them. They went and reported them to the king. King Nebuchadnezzar. And King Nebuchadnezzar said, no, 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 no. I don't think it's true. I just promoted these people. Sometimes when people give you promotion, but sometimes when people buy you gift, ask them to name the gift. Because not every gift is gift. Some gifts are gift for destruction. Some gifts are meant to trap you down. Some gifts are meant to make you lose your identity. And the king said to them, I know that this is a joke. It's not true. Now you are going to prove them wrong in my presence. There will be a music of all sorts, and you will be expected to bow down. But if it is true, if you refuse to bow down, 
I'm going to deal with you. And the Bible said that this short three young boys said to the king, O oh king, on this particular matter, we are sorry we are not careful to answer you on the way we are going to answer you. We are not going to bow down to any other image. We only bow down to the living God. The God whom we serve is able to deliver us from your hand. Stop asking us who is this God. Our God is the maker of the heavens and the earth. Our God is the one that created you, even the king. So don't say who is this God. He is a God of the heavens and the earth. He's almighty God. There is no one like him. And the king got more annoyed. And they said to the king, we are not careful that you are more annoyed with us. And we are careful to tell you one thing. This is our God. He is able to deliver us. Amen. But this God behaves the way he behaves because he is almighty God. You cannot detect from him. King, it is possible that this God will decide not to deliver us. Even if he does not deliver us, we are not going to church because of what we are getting. We are not praying to him because of his blessings. We are serving him. Because we know he's only true and living God. Hallelujah. The Bible said the king became more furious and asked the mighty men in his army to bind them. He asked them to heat, increase the intensity of the fire. Let it go. You don't know what fire means. You saw those of us who have experienced what fire means. God said to me, when I find myself in this situation, he said to me, Ike, you have been in pain for the past three days. But you cannot compare what you are going through to the pain of air fire. I had a third degree boat. Sweetie, you see this is a beautiful skin. When fire catch it, the thing melts. It's oil. It's oil. It, 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 it consumes on its own. And so this guy is seeing fire. Where they will be burnt alive. They said to the king, we will not bow down to your God. Even if our God do not deliver us. We will still love him. The king said, okay. And he asked his strong men to carry them. The scripture will read say that the people who went to throw them inside the fire, that they all become dead people. The people who came to throw somebody into the fire become dead people. What will happen to the people they threw into the fire? <laughs> Suddenly they were into the fire. And God opened the eyes of the king. And he saw four men dancing inside the fire. Mm. He saw four men rejoicing. Mm. He saw four men worshiping. He saw four men Amen. singing praises to the Almighty God. And the king was so amazed. And he said to them, What am I seeing? Am I seeing very well? And he called his men and said, I ask you to die to the men. Why do you tie four men? He said, no king, we put four, we put three. We did not put four men. He said, please call the roster, check again. They check, Shadrach, Mishael, and Abednego was the only one that was missing. The king said, I saw four people dancing into the fire. And he said, the fourth one is like the son of God. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus said to you, I will be with you always. You think that he's joking. He's with you. The Bible called him a very present help in a time of trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the king began to beg those who were into the fire and said, Shepherd, Meshach, and Abednego, please come. Please come. Your God is a living God. Please come. You have proved me wrong today. And I will say they came out from the fire. Not that they just came out from the fire. They are heads. We are not born. I told you I was in the kitchen for two hours today with my wife. I decided to help her to go out today in the kitchen. Until she began to beg me, please leave my kitchen. And now when I left the kitchen, I discovered that the clothes I wear to the kitchen, I only wore it this morning. And I didn't want to wash it because it's not dirty. But I can smell the fire. The smoke of being in the kitchen for about two hours has entered a clean cloth that I went to the kitchen with this one. And I said, no, if I put this cloth with my cloth, it's going to contaminate my cloth. I remove it for washing. But people who was in the fire, the Bible say, there was no smell of fire Amen. in their body. Their hands were not burnt. 
There was no sign that there had been on the fire. Amen. And the king said, I make a decree today that there is no new other God. If any other body call any other God, if anybody saw the God of Shadak, Mishak, and Abednego, that person will be in trouble. From today on, there is only one living God. And he promoted them. I decree that to you in this 11th hour that God will come here to him. God will answer you. He will heal you. He will deliver you. We are on the 11th month of the year. The year remains one month and some days. This one month and two weeks are full of miracles. They are full of healing. They are full of deliverance. They are full of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Shall we rise on Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. The God of the 11th hour is your God. Begin to pray to the God of the 11th hour. He will do it for you. He will do it for shame and be shaken and abandoned. Open your mouth and begin to thank the Lord. The God of the 11th hour. He is your God. Very big amen. amen. You know, 